Right, we move uh, from uh, the city of Ekurileni now to the city of Johannesburg. The EFF says the new public safety MMC in the city of Johannesburg will ensure that law enforcement agencies are incorruptible and uh, do not abuse their power. Dr. Mkini Chwaku uh, holds a bachelor's degree in chemistry, physics and applied mathematics and a PhD in chemical engineering. He joins us now uh, to paint a picture of how he plans to bring law and order in the city of gold. Dr. Truck, good to have you and thank you very much uh, for your time and joining us tonight here on In Focus. Seems like you've hit the ground running. Your first meeting was with the cleaning staff in, in your department. Tell us, what is the state of, of, of your department? Firstly, uh, because you've been briefed on that, what are the recommendations uh, and, and what have you adopted? No, thank you very much, Tabo, and then greetings also to the uh, viewers at home. Thank you for the, thank you very much for this uh, opportunity. As you know that now uh, EFF is always say we well, are a government in waiting. So we want to tell now the people of uh, you know the city of Johannesburg that uh, the the EFF now is now governing. So we're actually going to govern. Uh, no, I, I want to say that. Uh, the public safety, like not the, like the department itself, uh, Tabo, we need to start now from the basics. Uh, one thing that is uh, very serious is that everyone is acting. You have an acting HOD, you have an acting chief of police, you have a, um, a, you know the the acting uh, um, person for for the EMS, for the licensing department, and the, for the IIOC, IIO, which is your camera you know, the surveillance. So everyone, they seems to be, it's like some Hollywood of some sort. Everyone is acting. So you know uh, uh, when I talk about that, when everyone is acting, there will be no stability because even if someone wants to develop something, a strategy, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's uncertainty. So EFF is going to bring, you know, you know the much needed, you know, you know, you know, the stability there. And then also we need to start now with something which is very basic is that uh, the law enforcement, they, they don't have any communication equipment, like your walkie-talkies and all of that. They are using their phones. And also, most of them, if you find them right now, they don't have any squad cars. They're actually using the whole, you know, the taxi itself. And you'll find that uh, they will say to you that, you know, we've got, you know, the surveillance cameras everywhere in, in the city. To my surprise, when I did my oversight there, the cameras are not working, especially in the high in the high crime areas like your, uh, you know, the, the inner city, your Hillbro, your Beria, yeah. and all the kind of stuff like that. So, I, I like to say to the people of uh, you know the city of, 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 of you know you know you know the you know the Jutobek is that the department really they can agree with me the the, the heads the, the acting heads. We are going to start from the beginning. We are not safe, um, even. You know the CCTVs are not working. The call centers are not are not uh, 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 working. There's no strategy yeah. that is there that's saying that we are going to combat crime. So EFF is starting from the beginning, and we are going to put every plans in place right. to ensure that you know we actually uh, we actually you know we do the combat of crime. Let, let's start at the first instance. Then the first is as you're saying, everybody is in acting position, acting this, acting chief of police, acting this and that. Do you think that in a way has got to do with the instability itself that we have been seeing? in the metro as far as uh, the executive power. So in one minute uh, you have an, an ANC mayor, next minute you have a DA mayor, next minute you have an Aljamar mayor. Uh, the instability in the coalition arrangements has resulted in this huge uh, 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 gap of people acting in, in various positions. No, look, if you look at it, man, this thing of like acting started from very, from way back. Uh, some of them, they're saying that since 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. Because remember, some of the people, you know, their contracts have ended. So when people are coming in, they want to put, you know, their own, uh, you know, the, 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 the whole, you know, the people there. So I don't think it's that because you can actually stabilize because that's what we're going to do as part of our 100 days is to take a decisive action and ensure that we hire people with skills, the professional, because in our manifest we said we want to professionalize, you know, the department itself. So we're going to uh, um, uh, um, 
uh, uh, hire people who are qualified, who can do a job. It doesn't matter whether this one comes in, the MNC actually goes in or like that, but the ones who are there, probably what they wanted to do is to put their own people, you know, some patronage of some, of some sort. But as the EFF, because we've got the interest of the people, we've got the interest that the safety, there's the safety of our people in the city of Johannesburg is very important. One of the things we're going to do, actually this uh, week, because it has actually gone into the leadership itself, we're going to go and ensure we intensify, we ensure we stabilize from the head of department. I mean, the head of department is acting. So everyone there, you can see, I've, I've went everywhere. You can see that there's a, in the licensing department itself, something very simple, no car bags to file. All your thing, if you go now to Malboro licensing department, there's no furniture. They are actually collecting a revenue close to a billion, but they have no, they have no furniture and other stuff. So as the EFF, we are saying that, well, let's stabilize it. Let's ensure that we create certainty so that when we implement our strategy in terms of fighting crime, there are no people who are saying that I'm going to be fired tomorrow or, or and all of that. So we're going to stabilize it and ensure now we put science in whatever we actually do. Right. So what do I mean? Yeah. So, so that's what let, let, Let's take a break. It. I want you to tell me a little bit more about that. And what do you mean by a people's law enforcement unit, as you put it, uh, in terms of what you plan to put in place? That's the MMC for public safety in the city of Johannesburg. Dr. Mgrini Chuak, who stays on, he'll talk to us more on his plans uh, for the next 100 days when we come back. Back live tonight, you're on In Focus, City of Johannesburg, Public Safety, MMC, Dr. Mgrini Chaku, uh, still with us. MMC, will you be doing a purging, for example, uh, of the, new, the, the police chief? I mean, is, is uh, uh, Mr. Temba still uh, uh, your guy? Do you think he has a, a good plan in terms of leading uh, the safety in the city? Tavo, uh, the, the posts are going to be advertised, Okay. They are going to be advertised and everyone can apply. Remember what we actually subscribe to as the EFF, the cardinal pillar number seven, non-negotiable, open, accountable, corrupt-free government and society without victimization by the state agencies. So whatever we do as the EFF, we want it to be open and we must be accountable to our people. So when you ask me that I'm going to be purging and all of that, it's not a, I'm not going to be purging people. So people are, the, the posts are going to be advised, people are going to be interviewed, and based on the qualification of the job, if they can do a job, no problem. So, so, so ours as the EFF, we look in terms of the skill on how to actually do the, 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 the you know, the, this work. It doesn't matter. So in all the posts that are there, we are there as the EFF to deliver on our service. We are not there who did what, who's this and all of that. Are you qualified to do the, 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 the whole job? Do you have necessary qualifications? Yeah. And if it's a yes, then you should go in. That, that is our motto. We don't want to do all those things, what you call it, um, um, uh, you know, witch hunting and we did that before. We, we, we've assessed the current state of the department and we want to implement our yeah. policies. 
and our seven cardinal pillars. Yeah. So, talk to me about this people law enforcement unit. What, what, what does it look like? For example, let's be practical about what we are seeing happening right now in the city of Johannesburg and how do you plan in the next three months to deal with the situation? You, you could essentially say that the, the city of Johannesburg is infrastructure is, is under attack. I mean, everywhere you look, uh, robots are just really being picked up on the side of the road and they're being sold for scrap uh, or there's a digging of electrical cables everywhere. Uh, you look in, in, in broad daylight in the city of Johannesburg. How does a people law enforcement unit tackle such an issue in, in the next uh, 100 days? So what do we mean about the people's law in enforcement? We want a law enforcement that is patriotic. That is the complementary pillar of the EFF. Remember, whatever we do, we're actually guided by our, uh, you know, the policies of the EFF. It, the police force that is patriotic to its people and accountable to its own people. And then also we don't want any police force that is going to be using, uh, you know, uh, that is going to be, uh, you know, uh, um, using, um, you, know, uh, you know, to be factional, uh, you know, being entangled in factional political battles. That's not what we want as the EFF. And when I went there, I told them that, you know, the law enforcement is not the, is not the enemy. The enemy is the white monopoly capital, and they are our friends. And we know, and I know, the JMPD has got problems. They've actually approached me, and I'm going to sort them out. Many issues that they're trying to do, the issues of uh, payment, the issues of not having any body camp, the issues of not having, uh, you know, uh, 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 resources to fight crime. Because they want to fight crime, but they are frustrated because of this thing of acting and uncertainty. So, uh, ours, uh, uh, when, I, when I travel, is that it's very simple. We've got the crime stats that has been published on the quarterly and yearly that is coming out. And we have identified these hot crime spots. These crime spots, you know, you're talking about the Jobek Central, your Honeydew areas, your Midrand, your Deep Slot, your Ivory Park, these areas where they're saying that You've got the high mega rates, you've got high check-ins and all of that. That's science to us. So instead of applying a strategy that was there before of deploying resources, for example, squad cars, 10 per one, we are going to be using science. We're going to take our resources and focus on the areas where there's crime and fight it. We are going to clean up that hill, bro. And, and, and all those things, they are going to go and remove Everyone who is, who is in those uh, buildings which are about to actually collapse, which are illegal. We are going to clean up the whole area and in terms of, there were sheds there to today. I've issued an instruction that they must be cleaned. We're going to ensure that we're cleaning up because even when it's clean, so it is and all these gangsters, you know, you will never find them. One of the ways of cleaning up the place and making it look yeah. nice. We're also going, I'm going to be working with all the other departments. I've already contacted them. I'm yeah. having another clean up again on Wednesday, 10 o'clock. All, my, the, the, all the, the dependent by the hands were going to downtown Joburg to remove again those shacks, to remove everything that is actually there. Yeah. So we're going to also increase the number of police which is there. We're going to use the surveillance cameras. If I can tell the people, the South City of, of, of you know, you know uh, uh, here, if I can tell you that those cameras, I ask them, Okay, there is a, um, you know, uh, there's a robbery happening there. What do you do? That, well, MMMC, I send it to that other room, and, and, and yeah. And then I ask them, do you have a reaction unit? So there's no reaction unit when you're seeing a crime, you know, there is a, a squad car or there's an individual around the area who's going to be nabbing, the, you, know, you, know, you know, the criminals. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to integrate all these things of the surveillance cameras with the ground units to ensure that well, we fight this crime. And we're, and we're going to use the drones as well because we, we, we feel that drones as well are going to be a very good thing yeah. so that we're able to fight. Yeah. How, how are you going to pay for all these things? Looks like uh, money has been a challenge in the city as we speak. There are conversations around uh, getting a 2 billion rands uh, loan that needs to be paid at least in the next month or, or so. So there's, 
a, a, in a sense, a scarcity of resources. You're talking about buying furniture. You're talking about fixing CCTV cameras. You're talking about getting more police officers, buying furniture. Resources, resources, mm. resources. Where are you going to get the money? CCTVs are there. When I got in, I said, I want these CCTVs to work. And then I went on the other side to go and look at our dispatching center because people were crying that we've been calling MMMC. You know, they say, you know, you know your, your center, there, there's nothing actually happening. But when I got back again, the CCTVs are working. And also they just now signed there's a contract that has been, you know, that is actually, it's actually concluded to add more on those. So they, 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 they are um, equipments that have, are there already that actually have been bought. And also, there is a maintenance budget which is there. And I ask them, why if you've got a maintenance budget, you don't fix, you know, the, 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 the whole falling floor and, you know, you're fixing all these furnitures, you're fixing what is happening there. So it was, I see that when I did my oversight, because last week um, as an EFF, you know, as an EFF discipline cater, after I actually got sworn in, I went in to see, to do my oversight in my department. The only thing that I can say, Tavo, and tell the citizens of Johannesburg is that there's nothing else but the political will. No one wants it, wanted to be accountable. So I've got that, that, that power, that power to actually govern. And we've got a plan with my acting HOD as we speak uh, now that these are the things that we need to do in terms of ensuring that there's a furniture, ensuring that cameras are working. And then I spoke to the chief of police and I said, those surveillance cameras must be uh, complemented by the ground units, the right. reaction units. Right. Yeah, which are going to be show. And then also, I said to, 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 to the children that you cannot look at all the 1,000 plus cameras that are there. So we need to find a technology where you're going to, you know, uh, is going to be able to, to, to put what is called an artificial intelligence in it. So that, you know, it's able to, you know, to, 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 to see any funny, right. you know, things that are happening there. Yeah. MMC, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much uh, for coming on. So we will be in touch with you in 100 days to find out how your plan uh, has uh, been carried out on the grounds. That is the City of Johannesburg Public Safety, MMC, Dr. Mbini Chalkwood.